Could this be a next tube? I guess we'll find out. So, a while back, I purchased something off of Kickstarter called a next tube. Uh, this is it here. It's a clock and Rotrix next tube. It's a retro Nixie clock inspired modern display. And first of all, if you don't know what Kickstarter is, it is a crowdfunding site where you send money in for a product. And the people who are making the product do their best to bring you the product itself, but there are no guarantees you'll get it. So whatever the price is, is severely discounted of what it's going to be when they actually start selling it. But you're taking a risk that you might not actually get the product. So I put money down on this years ago and I did finally get the product. And it's been more than a year I've had this product and it's working fine. Um, this is a Nixie clock. So there's a lot going on here. A Nixie clock is, well, they're called Nixie tubes, as you can see here. Um, a Nixie tube is a, is a neon tube that has numbers in it zero through nine okay and they're just they're little filaments neon filaments that light up so you can light up the zero the one the two all the way up to the nine and they're stacked on top of each other so if you look closely at the nixie tube itself you'll see every single number in the filament and then the, the device lights up the number and that's how you get the time displayed now these are cool, and I had one for years. It was some Russian tube or whatever. You know, there most of the tubes are made in Russia. But um, over time, running these tubes, they become poisoned. So what happens is after a while, it it's like burning. Like it, you know, it'll burn the numbers in, and it will start to dim and the display. And you'll see, you know, whatever. It, it, it just won't last forever, unfortunately. So, next tube came up with, hey, you know, we're going to come up with a, a, a more modern version of this Nixie tube that will hopefully last longer, use less power, you know, it has more features. And as my tubes were wearing out on my old Nixie clock, so I said, all right, <clears throat> I'll take a risk. And I bought the thing, and I did get it, as you can see. And it's been more than a year. And basically, um, it's starting to go after a year. Now, these aren't, here's the thing though, these are not Nixie tubes. These are not vacuum tubes, neon, whatever. These are actually OLED displays. You know, if you look at it real carefully, if I can zoom in, that, all, that looks exactly like a Nixie tube, but in the reality is, it's an OLED display. Look at that. So they simulated the Nixie tube with, you know, modern technology, which is cool. But, again, you still have problems with um, burn-in. So if you'll notice here, this zero never changes. And it's a different color. It's starting to go, you know. You see all the other numbers are nice and bright. And this one here has gotten darker because the OLED is actually burning in because it's on all the time. So if you ever go to buy a television, an OLED TV can get the burn-in effect. And then eventually it will, it, like, okay, I could show you actually. Um, when you turn this off and back on, watch the zero. You'll see the burn-in actually. See that zero? It's not supposed to be there. It's actually burned into the display. But these are full color displays. So OLED TV, look at the difference. Wow. OLED TVs are are cool, but you can't leave them on like a traditional uh, LCD or QLED or whatever the hell. Because they will burn in like this display did. So, um, you know, I, I don't know if which lasts longer, whether it be a Nixie tube or an OLED display. I, I'm, but... You know, I contacted the company. I'm like, hey, I need, you know, I need to buy another display from you for my first digit because it's it's burned in already. 
and say that he's oh yeah no problem we'll you know we'll send you a couple spare tubes or whatever because these actually come right off and this little board just pops right out you can just take it out and put another one in pretty damn cool however I think they sent me a whole new one I don't know why but I guess we're gonna find out this is about the same size and I don't know who this is, so we're going to find out in a second. I mean, they didn't have to do this. Yeah, they were very kind. Um, I did not expect that. I'm going to have to thank them. Uh, and these things are programmable. I mean, look at this. You can, with OLED displays, you can do a whole shitload more. I haven't even begun to mess with it, to be honest with you. It's just like the Nixie's. Nixie, whatever. I wonder if this looks any different. I'll have to try it. Uh, what I'm probably going to do is um, I'll just take a tube out of there and stick it in there. So I have, I technically have um, spare tubes. They didn't have to send me the whole thing. That was very nice of them. But I highly recommend this product because this thing is cool as hell. Um, you can change it up and I don't even know how to use it. Military time. You can put the weather some kind of timer I have no idea how it works yeah alarm clock you can these buttons I don't know how to use them yeah nice wood grain finish here real wood that's got to be a timer obviously so if I left it on that it would burn the one in on here well maybe not they should just shut the display off. Yeah, it burns a zero in. Nothing you can do. OLED's going to burn in whether you like it or not. But it just adds a little retro um, feel to, like, a clock or whatever. And I, I'm always amazed by the older technology. Back, I mean, back in the 70s, they literally used these on computers. I mean, the displays were this, you know, they just had to, the calculators and shit had this type of shit. And it was like, wow, it's amazing how much we've progressed now. This is just zero through nine is all you get to display. And now we have these screens that have hundreds of millions of pixels in there with colors and brightnesses and everything else. So I mean, this is just a throwback to the old, the old time. But I had to say thank you to Rotrix for sending me a replacement. You really didn't have to do that. I do appreciate it, guys. Um, you can look them up, Rotrix, R-O-T-I-C-S, and get one of these yourself. I don't know if they've improved on the firmware. I've got the original one. It doesn't really do much. I think by looking at this picture, it looks like this may do some different shit than mine does. Like, you know, like VU meter that blinks to the music and everything. Whatever. People use it to, to, to keep track of their Twitter subscribers and stuff like that, stock market things. and it's Supposedly, it's very programmable, but I'm not a programmer, so uh, check it out. It's just uh, it's a pretty cool little device to put on your desk, and, uh, and it was a Kickstarter. And in this case, they really delivered the product. You know, there's Sometimes you don't get what you pay for, but that's the whole point, and I'm glad that they brought this to market. I'm enough people were interested and they put money toward it and they were able to create the tools to make this in mass production so you know I, I hope that this company continues to develop stuff like this this is kind of cool um, they have a pretty cool vision of uh, well they know exactly the kind of shit I like because I think this is just retro cool 